Yeah, I'm, I just seen a video. Bro, I'm disappointed, bro. Nah, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I seen the video. I don't even know why you put yourself in that situation, man. Like, like I'm disappointed, bro. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, I'm starting to think you got a death wish, bro. Like, are you my man? Like, don't come at me. Like, I gotta keep it a hundred. Like, don't come at me, bro. Please. I already know how you give it up. <laughs> But I just got to say this, bro. You got to stay out of Bronx River, man. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, bro, you, I'm trying to, un I'm really trying to understand the logic behind that. Like, ain't no real, oh, I'm just trying to make sense of this, bro. Like, what do you, you got too much to lose, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know, bro. Like, they saying you got a death wish. I don't know. It's, it's, it's starting to seem like it, bro, because I don't understand it, bro. Like, only two things going to happen over there, bro, and we know it. You're going to lay something down or somebody going to lay you down. Period. That's the only two outcomes that's going to happen over there, Hassan. You know what I'm saying? Like, you my man. Like, and yeah, I got your number. Yeah, I got your number, and and, and 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 I called you a few times, and we have these discussions, but it's like, I don't know, I just got to put it out here. Like, I got to I gotta let everybody know that, no, I fuck with you, that I don't, I don't support you going over there, to going to Bronx River. Like, because at the end of the day, it's like this. When it comes to stuff like that, like, I don't fear no man. Like, I really don't. I be, I, I be more afraid of, what I'm going to do. I'd be more afraid of me. You understand? So I know you ain't scared of them. I know you ain't scared of the people over there. That's why you go over there, which is cool. It's cool not to be scared, but you got to be smart. You know, you got to be smarter than that. It's not about not being scared. So, all right, we all know you ain't scared to clap something. Okay, cool. Yeah, but there's somebody out there who ain't afraid to clap you either. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and just to get their little rep or, you know, like, uh, I, I don't know. It's just like I'd be more afraid of, of 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 me. You know, that's why I don't really put myself in situations like that because I know if if you come at me a certain way, like you know, I kill an ant with the sledgehammer, so I, I overkill. Like so, I, I I I you know I overthink things. So once I feel like you 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 trying to threaten my life, then I, I feel like I gotta come for yours, and I don't even want to put myself in that type of situation. So yeah, I know. You be driving through, you see some people you cool with, but I'm telling you, bro, I'm telling you, bro, you got the people that's cool with you, invite them over there. Invite them over there. But trust me, stop going over there. And you know, like, I'm, I'm just keeping it real with you. Like, I go, I go through Webster, but at the end of the day, like, I, I wasn't having shootouts with niggas on Webster. I wasn't, I wasn't running around robbing niggas from Webster. I wasn't running around like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a, it's a different type of vibe. Like, you ain't on that type of time no more. But, you know, it's a young dude out there willing to show, just ready to show you that he's on that type of time you used to be on. Like, let me give you a, a story. My man came home from jail. I ain't even gonna shout his name out, but he from Webster. He came home from jail. He in a wheelchair now, okay? But when he came home, I remember we were standing on Webster Avenue and he was like, yo, yeah, you know, these little niggas, they don't know about me. These Spanish niggas, they don't know how I give it up. They don't know how I get down. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yo, you, you, you right. They don't know how you get down. And the few that do, don't even care. Because they get down just as much as you get down. You know what I'm saying? And I was trying to tell him like, yo, you gotta leave these little young dudes alone. It's a different ball game out here right now. Like, remember when you was on your type of time and can't nobody tell you nothing? They on their type of time and can't nobody tell them nothing. So I'm telling you, leave these niggas alone. They don't, you right. They don't know about you. And they, they, and they cause they don't care about you. That's just the facts of the matter. Fast forward a few days later, he, he was beefing with the dude. 
Some other dude smacked the dude and the dude used that as an opportunity to shoot at the dude who smacked him and then shoot the nigga who was talking to him a few days earlier. So guess what? My man is in a wheelchair. He paralyzed now just because he wanted to show them niggas how he used to give it up. Like, nobody care about that. It's like, it's like, like an old rep is like old money. Like, if you ain't got the money now, like, who cares? And even if you got the money now, still certain people who just don't care. You got money, I got money too. You a killer, I'm a killer too. You got a gun, I got a gun too. You'll throw your life away, I'll throw my life away too. You understand? So, it, it, it's just like, bro, like, I'm just disappointed in you, bro. Like, I, I'm, I'm telling you, like, I, I'm, I'm just disappointed. You know, I just feel like you're, you, 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 you got too much good stuff going on for you to even put yourself in that type of predicament. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, if you, if you, if you drive by and you see somebody you know, you stop and you, you wanna, like, whatever, just keep it short and brief. Oh, yo, yo, what's good? Yo, holla at me, come, come get with me over here. Like, you know what I'm saying? But to sit out there and, 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 and you, you already know what's gonna happen. Then, you know, you, you, you already put out the video talking about the dude who, 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 who got, Whatever happened to him, you know, it's just like, I don't know, brother. You know, like, I'm putting this video out because I hope it gets to you. I know how you get when people come at you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But just know I'm not coming at you. I'm just coming at the way you're moving right now. Like, it's, 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 that's not it, bro. Like, you, you got too much to lose. Like, the people, like, you a real voice. You know, you a real voice out here like that. People need a, a refreshing voice, a, a breath of fresh air. Like these young people need to hear what you bring to the table. A lot of old heads need to hear what you bring to the table. Like I know it's hard to fully, you know, it's, it's, it's transition. I get it. Like, like one day I was talking to this girl, right? Excuse me. One day I went to say something to a girl and she was talking to a dude. And the dude, this was after a club and I know he was drunk and I said something to her and he like, yo, you don't see me talking to her? And it's like 20 some years ago, you know, when I was young and on that, my, my shit out here. So he was like, yo, you don't see me talking to her? And I had a gun on me. And it was really easy to just es escalate the situation and take it somewhere else, you know? But it was just like, you know what? That's that's like where I really started transitioning. Like, nah, this is, this is, this is too easy. Like, it was just too easy. Like, you talking reckless, you drunk, you're not going to see me coming. Like, ain't nobody even know you got an issue with me because I just kept that, I just, whatever you said, I just, so I could have really just came back and just, but for what? You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, sometimes you got to learn how to just let shit slide. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't that, like, what, what is that, what is that doing to me right now? Like, what does that mean to me? Like, you talk, and he was talking to a girl I smashed already. I'm asking about her other friend that I want to smash. So, like, you ain't, like, what do you really, you feel what I'm saying? But it's just like, sometimes you just got to let that little fake tough shit slide. You really do. Especially when you in a, you in a, a you, when you got a lot to lose. Like, you got a lot to lose, brother. Like you going like these dudes is trying to trick you out of it. They want you to throw it away. So don't do that, bro. Just know that you you know like like holler at me whenever you feel like doing shit like that so I could talk you out of it, bro. Like cuz we on a different time right now. Like all that I'm going to keep it real. Like everybody know I've been through the same shit. We was locked up for the same shit, but I don't talk about that shit cuz I ain't proud of it. That's something I regret. I wish, that's the only regret in my life, really, just being involved in a situation that cost somebody their life. You understand? So I'm not, I'm not proud of that. I never want to be in a situation. I never want to be in a, I never want to see somebody, somebody family hurt like that. And I never want to see my family hurt like that. And I never want to be in the jail, in the cell, wondering if I'm going to be in here for the rest of my life. Like, that's a crazy feeling. And you know that feeling. You know that feeling. You know how it is to be sitting in jail and and, 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 and you, you this is where you could just end end up. Like you could die here. Like you don't want that, bro. You 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 came too far for that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like you 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 know, like I know you I don't ah, I just can't I don't I don't get it. You you see? And the, and the minute that happens Guess what happened? Niggas go get the video and they ready to push it out because they ready to they, they ready to see you fall, bro. Like, that's what it is. This ain't no, 
This ain't not, like I said, this ain't this ain't about street shit. If this was street shit and them niggas really wanted to just hurt you, <clears throat> they would have never put that video out. These ain't niggas who trying to hurt you, bro. These is niggas who trying to ruin you. And if I hurt you in the process of ruining you, trying to ruin you, then so be it. But I'm not really trying to hurt you. I just want to ruin you. I just want you, I just want to fuck your shit up. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like you said it. You're on your way to becoming a millionaire, right? What is the purpose of going over there for? If you got love for niggas over there, bring them with you. You understand what I'm saying? But to go over there and be subject to the niggas who hate you and the niggas who, who, who envy you and jealous or just don't like you for whatever reason, that just makes no sense to me. That makes no sense to me. Like, I go through Webster. But if it was niggas on Webster trying to kill me, what the fuck I'm going through Webster for unless I'm going to kill one of them? Like, period. Like... What am I going through Webster for if, if if dudes on Webster is acting like they trying to get at me when I come on Webster? Like, why am I going there? The only reason I'm going to go there is to put in, my, put in some work. I'm not going there to chill and act like these niggas is not trying to get at me for whatever reason. And you already know what it is. You know, you got your ear to the street. Shit come across. You already know how these niggas be talking. Yo, bro, don't, 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 like, you just bought a nice bike man go ride your bike man but take your bike that way don't don't go that way bro and i'm just telling you because i love you bro and i care about you and you know what i'm saying and and we've been looking out for each other for for a few years now and it's just like i would hate to i don't want to hear yo you heard what happened to her song like like i don't want to hear that bro like i'm not because of no sucker shit like that like nah like nah like that was that could have went so wrong because imagine if if, if shorty had something and he just jumped like it could have just went all the way wrong like bro just think how we was when we was young bro we didn't give a fuck about nothing we didn't care who was out there we like like come on now like dudes didn't care like when when it's in the spur of the moment it's the spur of the moment so we didn't really care so don't 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 think these dudes gonna care. They not gonna care. So it's it's even gonna be kill or be killed. And nowadays, like I'm not even trying to go nowhere. I gotta carry a gun. If I gotta carry a gun, like you you understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying I might not have a, it it with me. But if I, if I'm going there and I feel like yo, you know what? Oh, I need to bring my gun here. Then I don't want to go. But that don't mean just because I'm there, it ain't there. But I'm, if I got, if I feel like I gotta bring this to go there, nah, I don't really want to go. Like this, this I, I ain't no teenager no more. Like I ain't standing on the corner waiting for, waiting for my number to get called by the Grim Reaper. Like you know what I'm saying? So, yo, bro, like, yo, just stay off of that shit. You bigger than that, bro. You, you, you bigger than that. Like you bigger than that, over. You graduated from the school of hard knocks. Like why you going back? Like why you going back? I graduated. Flying colors on a roll like why would i go back like why would i go back bro you graduated leave that alone bro you ain't got nothing to prove no more like that's it bro like you ain't you know what i'm saying like so everybody who know her song campbell i see it in the comments y'all be telling them but tell them some more and tell them again and keep telling them because he trying to he I, I see he trying to change but it's so easy to have these dudes pull you back you know it's just so easy like Believe me, I know. It's just so easy. That's why I just, I just remove myself from a lot of stuff. You know, and you got to do it too, bro. Just remove yourself. Just, just, just go, go find you some new buddies. Go, you know, you you get in a certain type of bag. Go over there. You know, like, you know, find you some some new friends. I know you got love for them people over there, old OGs from back in the days. Show them love from a distance. Show them love from a distance, man. Trust me. Trust me, because when it's good, it's great, but when it's bad, it's terrible. You know, and that situation I seen on the internet, it just don't look good. I would have hated to be in that situation because I'm I'm a, I'm a nervous wreck when it comes to shit like that. Like, I'm a nervous, I, pop! Like, it would have just, I'm a just a nervous wreck. Like, when it, I don't know, I don't know who's coming by. I don't just know, I don't even want to be in that type of situation. So, bro, I love you. Don't put yourself in that situation no more, man. And anytime you feel like going out, call me, man. I'll show you somewhere different to go. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's it, man. Peace.